Welcome to the parking lot. This is the exhibition of Molly, Sophie, it's little Carson's name, tiny little Carson name, um, in there. And this is the show. And we start off with my mom, Molly Parkin, three generations of Parkin women artists. Um, how many more can we get in? Carson's going to have to give birth and going to have to train up another and have it as four generations. Uh, so this is my mum's early work. Fantastic. Really fantastic. Uh, I think. Uh, this is Chelsea Reach. This is uh, the Wolf Hall Estate in Wiltshire. Um, I think this is another, is this Wiltshire? I think another Wiltshire. This is a very romantic later picture. Those ones were all the 1960s. This one is um, the Welsh Lovers and it's up the mountains in Ponticama and it's so beautifully painted. I just love this. It's like just so romantic and it's just an amazing picture. Anyway, it was painted in 2006. Um, so when she started painting again after many years of having lost her muse. Um, so I think this is the other one Welsh sees and this one is is uh, Wiltshire again. Anyway, it's, it's very of its time, but she was such a master craftsman when it came to color and uh, texture. She's, and emotion, just emotion in the, in the way that she's applying the paint. Um, these are a few more of her little, well, things that I've chosen beautiful little watercolours of her trees growing in her garden. Uh, this one, only from last year, just really emotive and emotional. Well, it is to me of, of you know, two lovers. Uh, this is one of her beautiful Indian series of when she had a house in Tiruvannamalai. That's a self-portrait up the mountains in watercolour and gouache. This is another one of her Indian beautiful little uh, temple paintings. When she first went to India in, I think it was 1989. Um, that's one of the Indian mountains. And at sunset, I think this is. And then here we have Chelsea. We have Chelsea in, she lived on the World's End Estate. So this is, you know, all the colors of the Chelsea houses and then all the little different bits of things that are going on there. I think it's great, energetic and beautiful painting. And then I chose this one, not an obvious one for the last of hers to be put up because it's this year that she painted it. it, might well be her last painting she ever makes. And it's just layers upon layers and then painted over and painted over, but still there's a color coming through and it's called Winter, White Winter. Um, I find it very touching that you can lead this kind of a colorful life all of this energy and color and emotion and then this is what it comes to at the end which is pretty profound i think anyway on to carson and her goddesses um, this is made out of felt which is fabulous and joyous and then this is you know what she does with her digital art making icons to people, celebrating people's lives, which is such a lovely thing to do. This is one of my mum's incredible life, obviously, all that colour and style and fashion and people and there's a prince. And this is one that she did of me, which is obviously not for sale because it's all about my life. 
um, which is relevant to me. I don't know how many other people it would be relevant to. Um, this is one of her goddesses, Prince, which is beautiful. Um, then uh, this is Nikki de Saint-Fal. Look at that. I mean, the love that's gone into that, making those little nanas. And if you haven't heard of Nikki de Saint-Fal, she's the most incredible feminist artist of the 1950s, uh, American, French. And this is a little print, which is available for, I think, just... 75 pounds which is nothing for this beautiful it's magical uh, our lovely Dolly the amazing Dolly Parton celebrated as an icon and the amazing Josephine Baker celebrated as an icon um, Another goddess, beautiful. And then we come on to my work, which is all about inquire within meditations. This is a meditation in blue oil paint on canvas. This one is meditation in red, goldfish in the moon. Uh, these. This one was done in 2020, the other one 2021, but there's none older than that in this. So this was, I think, 2021 as well. And this is 2022, which is after Kirshna, um, Solitude. And this I painted just after I had a dream about my spirit animal coming to save me, or I turned into my spirit animal, the white leopard. Um, these are some other meditation paintings, really. Um, mirror, mirror. Reflections, we are all reflections of each other. Isn't that true? This one, it's a little bit of writing, photosynthesis, joy into energy, see your heart green, lush vital growth shoots emerge. There you go. Uh, this I did after obviously the whole COVID thing, Fearless 2021. Well, you've got to be, haven't you? With what they were, everybody has been trying to make women shut up all the bloody time. Isn't that annoying? Anyway, here we have a Spanish ghost story. And the story is written on a found canvas and the ghost is painted on top. 2023 I did that this year uh, this one this is another 2023 this is all about the release of energy and joy into the universe and repainting the past and another and this is 2023 all about the chakras and the green heart and the foreign barren landscape. And then these are just some little watercolors, uh, gouaches, which I like to do because you know you can have fun and be joyful. And then this is me with my self. Portrait as a blue ox, which is basically my Chinese sign. Um, and that, my friends, is the end of the parking lot. I'm sorry if you couldn't make it to the opening, uh, but I hope you'll enjoy watching this on YouTube. Lots of love, Sophie.